welcome to another step-by-step -step tutorial in our series of WordPress videos. This time I'm going to be taking you through the first steps to setting up Google Analytics on your WordPress website. I'll be sharing with you the basics of navigating Google Analytics and how to make the most of its data. Knowing how your audience interacts with your website is crucial for your success. The best way to know your audience is through your traffic statistics, and this is what Google Analytics provides for free. So the first step to getting analytics working on your website is to sign up to Google Analytics. So visit google.com forward slash analytics. If you already have a Google account, then just click on access Google Analytics here and sign in. You'll find the tracking code you need here. Make a note of this as we'll be using it in a moment. Otherwise, click on create an account. OK, so then click sign up and fill in these details. First, you choose a website if you're using analytics on your website and choose an account name. Enter a website name and your website address here. Select which industry your business is in and then click on get tracking ID. If you agree to the terms, then click on agree. You're now presented with this screen which may look confusing, but don't worry, as we are only here for one thing, and that's the Google Analytics tracking ID, which is here. This is important, so make a note of this. We will be using this tracking ID in a moment to link our WordPress website to our Google Analytics account. Okay, so now log into your WordPress website, and we can install a plugin that will link Google Analytics to our WordPress website. We are going to be using Yoast Google Analytics for this. So to do this, let's go to plugins and add new and then search for Yoast Google Analytics. Click here to install and then activate it. All done. Now you'll see the analytics icon here on the left. Hover over it and click on dashboard and click this link to start linking your Google Analytics account with your WordPress website. This screen is the general settings for Yoast Google Analytics and we want to manually enter our UA code which is the tracking ID that we got earlier. So click here and paste the tracking ID here. Click save and you're all done. It can take up to 24 hours for Google Analytics to fully connect with your website so don't worry if there is nothing showing right now. You'll soon start to see all the amazing data from your visitors. Google Analytics will give you numbers, and numbers are just numbers unless you know what you're looking for. So it's a great idea to start by asking some questions you want Google Analytics to answer, such as, how do I learn more about my audience? How are people finding my website? How do I get more traffic? What posts do my readers like the most? How fast is my website loading? And what is happening on my website right now? I'm going to be taking you through how to find out this information using Google Analytics. If you've never used Google Analytics before, some of this may be confusing, but don't worry, just follow me step by step and you'll see just how beneficial this will be to growing your business. So let's go. When you log into Google Analytics, you will most likely be in the homepage tab, which shows you all your websites that are linked to Google Analytics. You've also got the reporting tab, customization and admin tabs. Click on all website data underneath a website and this will take you to the reporting section. You've now got a sidebar on the left which has your different tabs such as the audience tab which we are in now, as well as dashboards, shortcuts, intelligence events, real time, acquisition, behavior and conversions. I'll quickly go through each one and explain how they work. Dashboards allow you to create customized views of your Google Analytics data using widgets. It's great to see specific subsets of data without having to navigate through your standard reports. To add a widget to your dashboard, just use the Add Widget button. Or when you're browsing your reports, you can add a widget by using the Add to Dashboard link. This is a great way to customize what you want to see very quickly instead of having to find it in your reports. Shortcuts are links to your favorite Google Analytics reports, so whenever you're browsing a specific piece of data in Google Analytics that you want to revisit often, just click on the shortcut link above it and it places it in your shortcuts for future reference. 
Intelligence events are alerts you can set up within analytics that email you when a specific event occurs. So for example, you can set an alert to email you if you gained 500 more subscribers, or a change in the number of sessions, any goals you have, and these can be within a daily, weekly, or monthly time frame. Real time is exactly that. It shows you who is on your website right now. Real time gives you access to that data instantly. You can see the current visitors page views, active pages, locations, and more. Audience, acquisition, behavior, and conversion sections are where the in-depth reports can be found about your users, traffic sources, content, and goal completions. Remember those questions we asked earlier, how do I learn more about my audience? How are people finding my website? All of these can be answered in these sections. So how can you learn more about your audience? The best way to learn more about your audience is in the audience section of analytics. These reports tell you your audience's location, the technology he or she is using to access your website, as well as lots of other information, such as do you have a mobile friendly website? Should you? Find out by looking under audience, mobile and overview to see how much your traffic is accessing your site from their mobiles or tablets. If you look under devices, it will even tell you the type of device they are using. If you've ever wanted to know what the best time to publish a post was, you can find out by going to geo, location, and you will see which country and region has the majority of your users, and based on that, you can determine the best time to publish. Let's look at the sidebar on the left. Each subsection of the sidebar offers a standard report. When you're viewing a standard report, you will likely see the following the report name, date selector, and a standard toolbar with options that allow you to customize the view, email the report, export the report data to various spreadsheet formats or PDF. And you can add the report to your dashboard or create a shortcut to that report. When you see this symbol, a small graduation hat underneath the date selection, you can click it to learn more about the data within the specific report. Right now I'm looking at a report and I'm in the All Sessions option. This shows me my data throughout Google Analytics as a whole. The Add Segment option allows you to see data based on certain criteria, such as direct traffic, search traffic or mobile traffic and more. In All Sessions you'll see the data specific to the report you're viewing. Most reports start with an Explorer Timeline view. I'm in Geo and Location, looking at where my users come from. At the top of the Explorer view is the option to switch between other views, such as site usage and e-commerce. The site usage view shows you just the number of sessions, average session duration, percent of new sessions, and the bounce rate for the data reported. The e-commerce view shows you revenue, transactions, order value, conversion rates, and per session value. I've also got an option to the left called Map Overlay, which shows me on a map where my visitors have come from and more information for each country, such as sessions, new sessions, new users, bounce rates, and lots more. Back in the Explorer view, I can change my data view to daily, weekly, or monthly, and I can change the timeline to a more detailed chart or graph view here. Below the Explorer view, you'll see an option which allows you to add a secondary dimension. For example, if you were viewing the English US language report and you wanted more detailed information about the top sources of traffic for English United States users, you could click on Secondary Dimension, choose Acquisition from the menu, and then choose Source. The data table now shows you the data you want. You can change the view to different charts and graphs. For example, you can change to a pie chart view which shows you even more data about your users and you can filter to specific dimensions and languages by using the advanced link next to the search box here. When you're in a table view, you can click on the links within the table to drill down to a particular subset of data. So if you're in a location report, the table shows which countries the majority of your sessions are happening on. Click on United States and it will show you a breakdown of your traffic. If you click on a state, you'll get the top cities. Look out for these links because they enable you to get even more information on your users. The customization tab allows you to set Google Analytics to email you exact portions of your Google Analytics data. 
you can create new reports, organize them by category, and import reports. Next is the admin tab, and this is where you can manage all of the settings for your website within Google Analytics. You can also set goals for your website. You can find the goals section under view here. Google Analytics goals help you track the data related to a user completing a specific action on your website. So, for example, if you had a contact form on your website that you use to capture leads for your business, you could create a custom page on your website that thanks users for submitting their email. Then set up a goal here called contact form, for example, which tracks who has submitted their email. To set up a goal, just click on new goal here, name your goal and choose destination as the type. Then click next step. Enter your goal details. So for the thank you page example, if the URL is www.yourwebsite.com forward slash thank dash you forward slash, then you would enter forward slash thank dash you forward slash as the web page URL and leave the drop down set to equal to. Now all you do is go ahead and click on create goal. To test that it's working, we can submit an email to our contact form, then come back to analytics and see the data. Remember, it may take 24 hours for Google Analytics to fully synchronize with your website if you've just linked to them. One final thing I'd like to share with you is to explore Google Analytics because no two people think exactly alike. Google Analytics helps you analyze visitor traffic and paint a complete picture of your audience and their needs. Where customers are can be as crucial as who they are. Do some types of people give you better results? If you want to know how fast your website loads, go to behavior and site speed. If you want to know what your users are searching for on your website, you can see their search terms by looking on behavior and site search and search terms. Google Analytics is so in depth, this video just isn't long enough to cover everything. So as I said, have a play around and explore and you'll find some really amazing tools in Google Analytics that will really help grow your business and for you to get to know who your audience is, what they're looking for, their needs and their wants and how best you can serve them. I hope you've enjoyed this video and have now got a good feel for Google Analytics and can confidently navigate around. If you have any questions at all, please comment and please give this video a like. Sharing it with your friends would be great too. Coming up, we have two amazing plugins which we recommend using on your WordPress website. They are must-haves if you want to leverage your website's potential. Thank you and see you in the next video.